Ish, 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 ish. What's up guys, it's Jay Pro back at it again with another edition of Reflex Bag Workouts. Let's go! We got a great workout plan today. We're gonna make every minute of every round count with this four round boxing workout for cardio. Get ready to rumble, make sure your space is cleared out, you got your sneakers on, you don't need any gear on yet. We're gonna jump into a warm up in 10 seconds. Okay, so three things I want you to focus on for today's workout. Number one, I don't want you to focus too much on form today. I'll tell you why in a sec. Instead, which is number two, we're gonna focus on punch volume, AKA throwing a lot of punches. We wanna be really busy for each and every round. And the third one is to give it max level effort and to try to only rest during the designated rest period. Obviously, we're coming in at all different fitness levels. You go at your own pace, but it's when in doubt, you start getting tired. It's better to just start to punch slower than to stop punching altogether. So don't overthink your form. Focus on maxing out your volume. And then three, max energy during the three minutes. Punch slower instead of stopping altogether if you get tired. So we got that down. We're gonna open up with arm circles going backwards. If you're brand new here, welcome. Let's reverse direction. All of these workouts are designed to be done with a reflex or a Cobra bag, but you can still do them with any equipment or none equipment, no equipment whatsoever. Now we're gonna transition to hip circles, nice and wide, opening up those hips. Switch direction here. Even if you don't have any equipment, you can still follow along, just shadow boxing all of the movements. Obviously all of our cardio workouts, they're all full body workouts, no equipment required. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. Now we're gonna go into a little torso twist, opening up the arms as we twist across the body. You wanna pivot your front foot as you turn over into this torso twist. 10 seconds here. If you didn't already know, the secret is out. We're gonna go into jumping jacks for 30 seconds. Boxing is officially the funnest and best way to get your cardio workout. And I'm sorry, if you're a runner, that's cool. If you like to bike, that's cool. Whatever it is, it's cool. But you're not gonna convince me that there isn't anything as much fun and where the mind-body connection is so real. And where you get an amazing cardio workout in 20 minutes, like boxing training. Now you know the deal, last minute of the warm-up. Gonna go into a little freestyle shadow boxing. So if you've been doing these workouts, you know that we use shadow boxing to practice our balance, our form, nice long punches. If you're brand new, quick rundown of the punches. You get into a stance in your side profile with your dominant hand and foot in the back. We've got the one is the lead straight, the two is the rear straight, three is the lead hook, four is the rear hook, Five is the lead uppercut, and six is the rear uppercut. We also practice our defense. It's one of the best parts of having a reflex bag. So you get into your stance. We have a slip, which is just taking your head off the center line. You can slip rear towards your back leg, or you can slip lead towards your front leg. We also like to practice the roll which is similar to the slip, but instead of a straight line, I'm using my legs to form a U motion. So you can roll rear towards your back leg or roll lead towards your front leg. And it's fun to pretend you're slipping or rolling right under your opponent's punch 
and then returning fire with a nice counter shot. So that's gonna do it for our warm up. Grab a sip of water, we jump into round one in one minute. All right, so if you're using a bag and gloves, now would be the time to throw those gloves on. Now when we're getting ready for round one, I wanna talk a little bit about the areas of focus for today's workout. The first one that I mentioned was not to worry too much about form. Obviously, one of the best parts of learning boxing training is learning real form and trying to improve with every workout. I know it's one of the best parts, but I also think that there's a time and a place. Because boxing is so technical and there's so many different things that you're keeping track of, your balance and your hip rotation, your breathing, your extension, defending yourself, it's a lot. And it can be easy to get caught up and get in your head. So when it's a cardio workout, we really like to put that to the side and really just try to let the hands fly so we maximize the effectiveness of our workout. Which means number two is to bring more volume. Same thing in the gym, if you wanna lose weight, you wanna to get toned up, you go low weight, high repetitions, same thing with boxing, we wanna throw more and more punches. So let's open right up with a flow one, two. And the third one is pretty self-explanatory, right? Maximum number of effort, of effort. And it is hard, it's tiring, doing these workouts, doing these full body exercises. It's exhausting. So if you get tired, it's really easy to want to stop early, but when in doubt, just punch softer. Punch slower if you get tired. Try to really go hard for the whole three minute round. Now we're gonna to go to a combination. It's gonna be a one, two, roll rear, four. We're going high repetitions today. Sometimes when I go high repetitions, I'm not doing as much footwork. So I can just focus on finding my right angle and punching. All right, let's go right back to that flow one, two. This is our light, continuous pace here. We're going high volume. So if you've been working on hand speed, this is a great time to condition those shoulders, let the hands fly. I'm already starting to sweat for 10 more seconds here. We're breathing, right? Even on the flow, one, two. All right, now we're gonna go right into jumping jacks. Full extension, get those arms all the way up and just breathe. It's only three minutes, but sometimes it seems a lot longer than that. Let's go, I'm right there with you. 15 seconds here, full extension on those jumping jacks. Let's go, we're working the calves here. We're getting the whole body engaged. All right, last minute of the round. We're gonna go right back to that one, two, roll rear, four, high volume. The high volume is also gonna be a good test of how well your rhythm and your timing is coming along. I see a lot of people commenting. Shout out to Camille. He said he did three reflex bag workouts in a row. Freak of nature, beast mode. We're here for 20 seconds. The high volume days are gonna be a good test of how our rhythm is developing. A lot of people comment, they talk about the rhythm improving. The shorter amount of time that you wait to start that combo up, the harder it is to time it. One more. Woo! Starting round one with a bang. Grab a sip of water. We jump into round two in one minute. All right, well, I'm already sweating, getting ready for round two. And I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I run hot. Boxing, it makes me sweat. I feel like we should be proud to sweat. That means that we're achieving what we set out to do. And if you're a returning subscriber, hopefully you're starting to sweat a little bit, but also you should feel like you're progressing week over week. It's not gonna be massive leaps. I have clients who come in, they want massive leaps. It's not gonna be massive leaps week over week. It's gonna be more like 1% growth. But if you feel like your rhythm, your timing, your hand speed, your technique, your freedom of movement 
you're loose and relaxed, if you feel like any of those things are 1% better than the week before, then you're on the right track. You have to celebrate the small wins when you're doing any kind of fitness training, especially boxing training. So let's get right up to that bag and let's open with a flow five, six for 30 seconds. This is our light continuous pace with our uppercuts. See how quickly you can put them together to drive that volume. Again, it's all about control. Maintain control of that bag, hinge at the hips, drive those uppercuts up across your body and get loose with it. Okay, now the combination is gonna be a one, slip lead, one, one, two on the bag. One, slip, one, one, two. You go at a speed where you're comfortable and able to maintain this control. I'm going high volume, so I'm not worried too much about my footwork. I just wanna get as many shots in as I can. One more. All right, right back to that flow, five, six with the uppercuts. Are you breathing on all your punches? This is the ideal pace of a flow when we're doing cardio and we're going hard. Okay, step off the back. We're gonna go to heel kickers for 30 seconds. Nice and bouncy, nice and light. We're trying to really just tap the glutes with our heels. Woo. I know, I'm right there with you. Hang with me. Only one minute left after we finish these heel kickers. Try to bring up the speed. Make sure you're balanced. Oh yeah. All right, last minute of the round. Let's go back to that combo. One, slip lead. One, one, two. If you're still more on the beginner side of things, you can slow it down. It's all about control. And what do I say about missing? It's okay. You just stay balanced. You find that rhythm. You get into that old, that, your own funky zone. You're starting to let them fly now. Woof. One more. Ice, ice, ice. So satisfying. And just like that, we're halfway through this cardio boxing workout. Quick sip of water. We jump back into it in one minute. All right, so we're already at the halfway point. That means we wanna turn the intensity up even higher going into the second half. Let's go. Just six minutes of work left. Going into round three, we're gonna switch up the format a little bit. So far we've been mostly planted, throwing our combinations at high volume. We're gonna challenge ourselves with a little bit of footwork and a little bit of movement going into this round. So for the first 30 seconds, we're just gonna work a one, but the challenge is to try to move all around your bag as you throw that one. Now, if you're a beginner and you're still working on controlling your bag, totally fine if you just wanna stay planted and work your one, but try to really ramp up the volume. If you wanna challenge yourself, let's move all around that bag. So in 10 seconds, we're just gonna work the one. We wanna throw it as many times as we can while also working our footwork, starting now. Fifteen seconds. Ish, ish, ish. Try to come in at different angles. Work outside the pocket, then inside the pocket. Forget about head movement. All right. Now let's switch over and work that too. Ish. Same format. Ish. 
Outside the pocket, Oof. inside, head movement. If you're new and you're more comfortable, you can stand and throw. Try to keep those punches long. Bop, 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 bop. Just like that, there we go. Now 30 seconds, let's work a one, two. This, this. Little footwork. One, two, and then move. This, 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 Woo. this, this. Are you breathing on every punch? This, this. This, this. This, this. This, this. This, this. Woo. Let's go. Seven seconds. This, this. This, this. This, this. All right. Let's go right back to those heel kickers for 30 seconds. I know. I'm feeling it too. That's why it's our cardio day. If you need to slow down the pace, you can. But try to stay busy. The better your cardio, the more fun all of these workouts are. I'm still working on my cardio. I'm trying to ramp up the amount of miles that I'm running every day. All right, last minute, we're gonna go into a little drill. Here's what you're gonna do. Right in front of your bag, we're gonna go into a boxer bounce. So when I call a punch out, you'll stop, and throw it, and then right back to the bounce. So one, ish, then right back to the bounce. Two, ish, back to the bounce. One, two, ish, ish. Keep bouncing. You're shifting your weight. One, one, ish, ish. One, two, ish, ish. Three, ish, three, ish, three, ish. Keep bouncing, 20 seconds. One, two, ice, ice. One, two, ice, ice. Two, ice, two, ice. No look, two, ice. Woo. Five seconds. How about a one, two, one, two? Ice, 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 ice. And time. Woo. I'm out of breath, but you know what to do. I'll see you in one minute for the fourth and final round. All right, this is it. Fourth and final round. This is our burnout round. This is where it all comes together. We leave it all on the floor right here, knowing it's the last round. So, in 45 seconds, we're gonna open up round four. We're gonna go back to that boxer bounce. Now, if you're new, we jumped into that drill pretty quickly. What you're doing with that boxer bounce is you're getting in your stance and you're just shifting your weight from rear to lead. So you can go front to back. I typically like to go lead, rear, so there's a little bit of a twisting motion. And if, if we go to that drill again this round, you just stop, throw your shot, and then right back. It's a great way to work your footwork, your cardio, your balance, and those quick hands. So let's open up with just that boxer bounce with 30 seconds, nice and fast. It's our last three minutes of the day with no punches, no surprises here. We're just gonna start bouncing. We're here for 15 seconds. Try to really turn up that speed. Throw a jab, pop, if you want, pop. Five seconds here. All right, right into the flow, one, two. Let's really bring our speed here. Go as fast as you can while maintaining control. I'm not dropping bombs here. I'm controlling my bag, but I'm also burning out my shoulders because I feel them burning. Five, four, three, two, and we're going right into the Ali shuffle. based off of the greatest to ever do it. Muhammad Ali, balls of our feet. Again, this is a full body cardio. This is balance, speed, footwork. Five seconds here. 
Stay with me, trust me, I know. All right, now we're going to a flow five, six. Let's try to bring that speed again. It's more like a speed five, six, but we'll still call it a flow because that's what I wrote down. <laughs> Let's go, really push it here. It's burning. Wah, 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 wah. If that bag goes a little wild, it's okay. You just take a second, regain control. Okay, last minute, we're going back to that drill. We're in the bounce and we're gonna go through some call outs. Here we go, stay with me now. One, one, two, three, two, one, slip rear two. Again, one, slip rear two. Back to the bounce. One, two, one, two. One, two, five, six. Back to the bounce. Two. One, two. One, two. One, slip lead two. Two. One, one. We're bouncing. One, two, roll rear four. One, two, one, two. One. One, two, one, two. Power two to end it. Now that's what I'm talking about. Nice work. You just made it through this four round cardio boxing workout. Remember, it's not about achieving excellence overnight. Nothing happens overnight. It's 1% growth week over week. 1% better with timing. 1% better balance. 1% more loose and relaxed. 1% more confident with our form. Great work. If you enjoyed the workout, please like it. Thank you to everyone who continues to comment. Share this workout, tell your friends. Follow me on Instagram for the reflex bag combo of the week. If somehow you still have energy and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a workout. New weekly workouts come in every week. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy that dinner, enjoy that beer. Whatever it is you're having tonight, you earned it. I'll see you real soon. Ice, ice, ice.